Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to our My Player Career Mode, episode 4 today. And as always, I hope that you are doing fantastic. Before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you out there who have been supporting the first three episodes, smashing the like button, leaving me really nice comments. Um, honestly, I cannot thank you enough. It has been incredible the start to FIFA 23 and hopefully it continues. But yeah, thank you so much for all of the incredible support thus far. We are back today and if you missed the previous episode, we will quickly talk about that. We scored our first Palace goal in a 2-2 draw against Leeds. We beat Wolves 4-0, but we lost to Brighton by three goals to one. Coming up today then, we've got Brentford at home, Chelsea away, and then Manchester United at home to uh, see what we can do in these three games. In terms of the standings, if you remember where we are, we can't fight for European football this season. We also can't get relegated. So it's very much just about us improving our pro trying to see what we can do in the way of performances and then build on that next year into next season. In terms of our pro, we are 73 overall right now. No skill points to play with, but I do have an available perk. So let's take a look at what we could put on here. I'm thinking that first time shot might be a good one to use or active first touch. Oh wait, no, poacher, boost shooting from inside the box, but I don't think we get in the box all too often. Right, let's go active first touch um, and then we'll run with that and distance shooter. They're the two perks that we will put on ahead of this Brentford game. Can we do some training? We cannot. And let's see what this first game of the episode will bring. We are at Selhurst Park for this. Ultimate difficulty as always. Into game we go. We start with the Palace lineup then. There it is for you on the screen. And you saw on the substitute bench, Ito is on the bench. Jeff Schlupp starts out on the left. We start out on the right. For Brentford, their lineup popping up on screen right now. A couple of players to keep your eyes on, of course. Ivan Tony, a very good striker. And McAllister in the centre of midfield as well. And we are underway then at Selhurst Park with Will Hughes finding the ball to me. And whilst I've got the time as well, this weekend there is a how quickly can we reach 90 overall in my player career mode video coming out. So... Yeah, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below, activate the notification bell, and make sure you don't miss that video because the results were incredibly surprising. Mayer to Ayu. Space over on the right for me. Milivojevic now has it. There's the pass towards us. We've got Espino keeping us company. And I'm looking to play this back to Milivojevic. There we go. Ayu's in the box. Can he get the shot away? Using his strength here to try and find a chance, but the chance looks like it might have gone as we shifted onto our right foot now. And Brentford are standing firm in their defensive line, making sure they're not making a mistake here. As we cut it back on the left, looking to whip the ball in. There's the ball in, and there's Schlupp's header towards goal, held by the keeper. It was a decent header as well from Jeff Schlupp. First chance for Palace. Corner ball, Brentford, right at the end of the first half in what has been a relatively quiet first half, but there's Ben Mee! And Brentford break the deadlock at Selhurst Park. A captain's goal from the skipper, and just as I'm saying, it's been a relatively quiet first half, the goal appears. And then there's Ben Mee. 1-0 Brentford right before half time. John Stone, could he have done better? That's the question. 30 minutes remain here at Selhurst Park for Palace to try and find a way back into the game. And I'm wondering, as here is Brentford, McAllister makes it two. Where did that come from? Palace falling asleep. Brentford punishing them. I was just going to say, I wonder how long it's going to be before we see the introduction of Ito to the game because that is a change that um, Patrick Vieira has been doing recently. And when he does come on, he does change the game, Ito. So I'm waiting to see his introduction. But now it's got even harder for Palace to get away back into this because it's 2-0 Brentford. And there is that change that we were discussing. Schlup off, Ito on. McAllister... Backwards to Onyeka. McAllister again. Now to Avif. 1-2. It's brilliant football. And John Stone had to be quick to react to be able to make the save at his near post. I think it's safe to say that Brentford have deserved their victory today. They've been the better side comfortably here. Hughes with the ball out towards me. Back towards Hughes we go. And will we see at least a consolation from Palace? Well, we're trying our best. MacArthur's back heel doesn't get past me. Hughes out to me on this left-hand side. The chance to put the ball in. Ben Mee's there again. He's had a fantastic game. The skipper for Brentford scored the opening goal and defensively has been absolutely brilliant. McAllister, three minutes added on. 
And yeah, it's going to be full time. It will be a defeat. But we can't complain because Brentford have deserved it. Espino, left hand side, delivers the cross. Oh my! McAllister should have made it three. What a save by John Stone. It's a bit unfortunate, really, because he's had a really good game, our goalkeeper. There's full time. 2 0 Brentford. And now we've got Chelsea up next, who we did actually beat at the start of the season, remember? So, yeah, although we lost here, stay positive because we could get something out of that Chelsea game. Uh, but the man of the match went to Ben Mee, unsurprisingly. I did say to you, didn't I, that he had a fantastic game at the back. Scored a goal, defensively sound. And off to Stamford Bridge we go then. There is the Chelsea 11, ours on the right-hand side, but we will take another look at them in-game. And as we see the Chelsea 11 appear on screen... I'm wondering, where is Moreno? Because he did sign for Chelsea. Aubameyang preferred today. Voland as well on the bench and Moreno on the bench. So Voland, who scored against us at the start of this season, is on the substitute bench today. It's a very, very strong um, Chelsea side. Palace, on the other hand, here's our starting eleven. Um, I think we are unchanged from that side that you just saw start the game against Brentford again. Schlupp preferred to Ito. And, uh, yeah, I mean, John Stone had a busy afternoon against Brentford in the end. So let's hope he doesn't have a busy afternoon here against Chelsea. But I imagine he probably will. And last time we played Chelsea, Geiter was sensational for us. Realistically, he was the reason we picked up the victory. So he's not in the starting eleven today. And Chelsea immediately on the attack. And the first save of the game for Sam Johnstone. Corner ball, Chelsea. Is this what we are in for for the next 90 minutes? Us pretty much having to defend. Away the ball goes from the first corner, but it's here for Rhys James. Through to Aubameyang. Chelsea score inside five minutes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I can't really say anything else than I expected that, pretty much. The start immediately. Chelsea go forward. I mean, their fans are going crazy as if... That wasn't expected. James, just the uh, composure to lay it through to Aubameyang. And John Stone will be disappointed. He's been beaten at his near post there. We highlighted Moreno. We highlighted Voland. We said Aubameyang was preferred to the two of them. And he scores the opening goal of this one for Graham Potter's side. We might not have anything to play for in the way of European football. But Chelsea do. They're fifth. 60 points. Four points behind fourth. So they could still get Champions League. And just like that, it's 2-0. Mason Mount. Ten minutes gone. If Palace are not careful, this is going to become a heavy, heavy defeat. Chelsea will be wondering how many more can they get because we've only seen 10 minutes on the clock here and already they're having massive success in and around Palace's penalty area. Mason Mount, first time finish on the left foot. No chance for John Stone. This could get bad for Palace. Mayer's ball out wide. Great pass, finding Mitchell's feet. He will hold off the challenge for the moment of Rhys James, but then I'm not sure what he was thinking with the back heel, trying to go, I'm guessing, through the legs of Rhys James there to get the ball into the box, but instead probably should have just laid it back. And Chelsea back with possession. They're making it look so easy. Palace get nowhere near them. Aubameyang, look at this. Look at this. Who's going to close him down? Well, the answer is no one at the moment. And he's found Mount again. It's 3-0 Chelsea. What is going on with Crystal Palace? I'm honestly stunned. I feel like this is a little bit of revenge in a way for that opening day defeat that Chelsea fell to us at Selhurst Park in. But it's Palace who are the makers of their own problems. Aubameyang wasn't even running. He was walking forwards and no one closed him down. Mount gets his second. I do know that in the perks section there is a team press perk which I might have to think about putting on because... You saw it there. There was just no urgency to go to the ball and immediately Chelsea get it straight back. This is disastrous, honestly, the way this is going. Sterling, Mount. Imagine a first half hat trick for Mason Mount. Now Pulisic. A Chelsea going to make it four here. Zakaria, Sterling, Pulisic, Sterling. Shot. Anderson blocking the first one. Chelsea still have it though with Pulisic again. Back heel for Chilwell. Chilwell's cross. Mount's there. I can't believe this. As my voice breaks, as you know, I've got a cold. Mount's got a hat-trick in 23 minutes and 40 seconds. My hands are on my head. I don't know what to say. Palace are wishing for the full-time whistle. And we've only had 20 minutes of the game here at Stamford Bridge. This is insane. 
No, 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 no. It's 5-0 Chelsea. It's an absolute thunderbolt from Sterling and it's Mount who creates it. But we are capitulating. I'm not sure what my biggest defeat is in my player save before, but this is getting towards that point. Five Chelsea goals in less than half an hour. And then pretty much straight back to Chelsea on the attack with Reese James, right hand side. Mitchell defending for the first moment, but here's Mounts. Already scored three, set up one, maybe two. Pulisic is shot, John Stone saves. That might have been six if it wasn't for our goalkeeper. Here is Mount, Chelsea's hat-trick hero of this game. Towards Aubameyang. And Aubameyang gets the shot goalwards. Pretty much picking up where we left off in the first half for this second half then. Schlup off, Ito on, I imagine. Yep, there's the change. Are you underneath the first header? It'll fall back out the way of Mason Mount, who plays it to Aubameyang. His shot into the box is blocked. But Sterling is quickest to react to it. And Mount has a sixth. Wow! I would love to say, are you not entertained? But it's for all the wrong reasons, my friends. Because Chelsea have hit six against Palace. And there's no way this one should have gone in. John Stone should save it. He really should save it. The only excuse he's got is that he's come through a couple of Palace bodies. But even then, he should save it. Jordan Ayew finding Pereira. Pereira to me. The touch was pretty heavy, but we still got it through to Mitchell. This is good from Palace. Mitchell's ball back in to find me. It's a goal back. It's a consolation at best. But we have got on the score sheet here. And it is something for the Palace fans to at least shout about in what has been an otherwise dire afternoon in the rain at Stamford Bridge. It's my second in a Palace shirt. But... It's not good still here. That doesn't do anything to lift the spirits of the Palace players and the fans. I mean, Vieira, he's happy with it. But at the end of the day, it's still a 6-1 scoreline here. Moreno on for Aubameyang. Didn't want the ball there, I'll be honest with you. And that's the reason why Chelsea have put the pressure on. Moreno strike and John Stone, what a save. Three minutes left of the 90. Palace coming forward again. Are you looking for the ball into the box? Koulibaly in the way as I try and shift it onto that left side to look for either a pass or a shot. Unable to do it. I'm going to try and get the ball straight back though for us. Keep the pressure on. Koulibaly, Chilwell, Koulibaly again. And because of this, I'm out of position and that is Chelsea playing their way out of defence brilliantly. Mason Mount has run the show for Chelsea. I'll be shocked if he's not man of the match here. Three minutes added on and... And as I said, after the sixth goal, I'd love to say, are you not entertained? But it is for all the wrong reasons, because Chelsea have dominated here. Full time at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea six, Crystal Palace one. 7.8 match rating for us, but that does nothing to the scoreline in which we had one single shot. And it was the goal, 14 for Chelsea. And it doesn't get any easier for us because now we've got Manchester United. We do pick up some uh, experience points and manager rating points, though, along the way. And we've got some training to do, and then I'll see you for Man United. Changed around a little bit where the skill points were allocated. I put them into dribbling, took them out of shooting, because one thing that just came through in our activities was request a wage increase. But in order to do that, I needed to be 74 overall. We were 73, and with those changes, we've now gone to 76. So when I've got this wage increase, I could take the points back out and put them back into um, the shooting skill tree. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it as it is and stay at that 76 overall. As I say, we're going to take on United now. We welcome them to Selhurst Park and they're fighting for a league title. So if you thought Chelsea were good against us, I imagine United will be probably as good here in this one. Four goal mount destroys Palace defence. There wasn't a defence. That was the problem. Anyway, play match. There we go. Ronaldo's up front, Bellingham out on the left, Fernandez down the middle, Anthony on the right. This could be a long 90 minutes if it's the same as it was against Chelsea. Patrick Vieira sticking to the same starting 11 that was dismantled against Chelsea. And for Manchester United then, here is their starting lineup. Danny Carvajal, a new signing at right back. Acuna as well playing left back for them. Fred Casimiro in the middle, <clears throat> excuse me. Anthony, Fernandez, Bellingham and Cristiano Ronaldo up front. Martial on the bench, Dembele, Rashford, Sancho. Wow, so many good players on that United bench. 
Here is Fred, edge of the penalty area for United. I've seen that uh, on the left-hand side there is a bit of space, so I'm going to try and block the pass out here. Gay does win the header for Schlup. Schlup towards Milivojevic. Milivojevic helping it forwards. It doesn't get past the Kuna, though. And Anthony has a chance maybe to shoot, and he does get it away, and that's Palace once again not doing their job defensively. Anthony strikes for United six minutes in, and it's a carbon copy of that against Chelsea. Here we go again, my friends. I hope you're ready because it's going to happen again. We're going to see lots of goals if this is how we start the game. What a strike from Anthony. Big money signing to United, of course. And that is the first of the afternoon. Look at Vieira. He can't believe it. I can't really either. Good interception from us. Right, we're away. Can we get the pass off to Schlup? We do. Schlup, I'm through the middle. Where can we go with the next one, though? That's the question. Schlup again. Over on the left. There's the pass. Schlup's ball. Looking for Ayu. Too much on it. It'll go to De Gea. And you have to take the bad moments sometimes in order to get to the good moments. But when they're this bad and we're off the back of a 6-1 defeat and United are already 1-0 up inside six minutes, it's hard to deal with in the moment. Fred. Fernandez. Fernandez. It's two. It's two for United. He didn't even strike it cleanly. But it somehow still goes in the net. And it just feels like the last two games, everything that goes our way towards our goal ends up in a goal. Ronaldo out towards Bellingham on the left-hand side. Jude Bellingham, great control. And now, again, you can see Palace back off, tracking runners. It leaves space for the shot, which Casemiro will take on. John Stone saving. Caterino, there's no need to play that ball in the air like that. There's literally a pass on to me, which is an easy pass straight to my feet. No defender near us, and he's trying to play it in the air. As we cut back inside, go away from one challenge. And then a second. Now Ayu. Ayu, lovely turn. Brilliant from Jordan Ayu. Get in. That's exactly what Palace needed. That is exactly what Palace needed. Thank you very much, Jordan Ayu. Come on, we can do this. 2-1. And as I say, game on. Brilliant from Jordan Ayu. De Gea beaten. Just one goal in it until we are back on level terms. Hughes, Ayu, Schlup. Can we get something before the end of the first half to draw his level? Schlup, left-hand side. And you can see there's so many Man United players still in the way of a chance here. Schlup, though, goes past the challenge. Still has it here. Now to Ayu. Ayu, what can he do? Finding me. And we have to play it back to Meyer because there's no shots. Meyer though, gives it away. You can see we just overplayed our hand. I couldn't turn and shoot. I had to play it to the edge of the penalty area. But I'll be honest, given the way that we started this game, falling 2-0 down... We've been the better side for the last 10 minutes. And that is really, really positive to see. Milivojevic finding my feet. Overlapping run from Katarino. There's the ball towards him. Second half is underway here. Palace on the attack. United looking to give us a little bit of space. And we draw the foul. It is a really good position for Palace now then. This has got to be good by Milivojevic. Come on. I believe. The Palace fans are hoping. Do you believe? Do you think this is going to be 2-2? We're about to find out. Milivojevic, free kick. The wall set up. He's got over it! It's 2-2! Two, two. Milivojevic with a thunderbolt of a free kick. Palace have drawn level. Do you believe? Yes, we do! Come on! Oh, I honestly can't believe this. When we went 2-0 down, I was thinking, not again, all over again. Chelsea, Stamford Bridge, nightmare. But then... We draw the foul. Milivojevic over the wall. Beats De Gea. It's 2-2. Two, two. We need to try and get on the ball as much as we can. Ronaldo going for a shot. John Stone saving because we helped in, you know, setting up that first goal. Skipping past a couple of United challenges. And then there, drawing the foul to win the free kick. Here come Palace again. Here come Crystal Palace again. United shook. Hughes finding Schlup. Schlup trying to find the ball in. Carvajal in the way of the pass, though. Caterino with the ball forwards. I will keep this in play as well. And then play it off towards Meyer. He's given me it back. And Palace come forward again then. With the ball through to Ayu. Jordan Ayu. It's now or never for Palace. Ayu sends it to me. Palace are in front for the first time this afternoon. From 2-0 down to 3-2. A little salute to the fans who inside Selhurst Park are bouncing. What a game. What a game. 
a game. I actually, honestly, I, I, I you can't write it. You honestly cannot write it. From a 6-1 defeat where we were hopeless, dire, disastrous, to falling 2-0 down and then scoring three without reply. Wow. Fernandez strike from distance. Johnstone palms it. Anthony's there. Anthony's shot follow up. Near post. Johnstone saves again. Five minutes remain here as Palace are just looking to see the game out. I use ball down the line will find me. I'm not in the best place in terms of my stamina. So I'm going to try and just waste some time here. I don't want to lose the ball and give it straight back to United. That wouldn't be a good thing to do as Varane goes in with a challenge and ends up conceding the throw. But I thought we might get a free kick there. Not given. Throw it towards Hughes. Two and a half minutes remain. MacArthur, Klein. Klein with a strike and De Gea has to save. If that had have gone in, Selhurst Park would have erupted. It still might in two minutes' time when the full-time whistle is sounded. Vieira. Now, again, the smart thing to do is to play this short. It really is. I know it's not the most entertaining thing to watch, but we need to keep hold of the ball and just chew down the clock. Are you? Ito. Ito now then on the turn, going for the strike. I'm back out here to the left-hand side. And we will once again just chew down the clock. Three minutes added on. United getting frustrated by this. Oh, no, that was not good by me. Giving the ball away, Fernandez, And I'm trying to work my hardest to get this back now because of the fact I've just given it away. Just a single minute left. Come on, we can see this game out. Carvajal. I'm going to try and force him to go back, not forwards. He finds Ronaldo, though. Sancho, Fernandez. Now on ever for United, Ronaldo. Ronaldo's ball cut out by Caterino. Full time, Selhurst Park. 3-2, Palace. Yes! What a game, what a result. Player of the match as well for us. 8.7 match rating. I cannot believe we brought that back from 2-0 down to win 3-2. Outstanding. Cut scene as well. Well, that was quite a display you put on. Impressive. And now they want to talk to you. Also just hit level 13 with 1,000 something XP gain there. And what does it say about us in the news? We will find out. Milivojevic scores in Palace's win over United. What a free kick it was. It was a tremendous free kick. Tremendous, tremendous game as well. And my friends, that is going to be where we end today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I have, even though with that 6-1 defeat to Chelsea, I thought I wasn't going to. That last game there has just made the episode for me. What a game that was. Um, as always, I will show you our my pro section, where we are with the skill tree and whatnot. So there it is for you. 76 overall in terms of where we are putting our points. 10 into passing, 8 into pace, 6 into dribbling at the moment. We have got 3 more to play with, but I'm going to leave those for now. I am also going to take away active first touch and put the team press on. And then hopefully we will see our teammates actually going to the ball and stopping the shots from coming through. And one look at the personality section as well. There it is for you. 5,000 personality points right now. 44% of them into Maverick, meaning that that is the boost that we currently have. What else do I want to show you before we go today? I want to show you the standings because with two games to go, we are 13th. The highest we could climb is 12th or 11th, arguably maybe even 10th, but our goal difference is not in a good place right now. Um, same too with 9th. We'll see where we're at at that stage. In terms of the bottom three, Southampton could still go down, Nottingham Forest could still go down, and um, Leeds potentially as well. But Fulham, Brentford, Bournemouth all make up the bottom three with Bournemouth already, already relegated unless they can win that uh, game in hand they have um, because they're nine points behind Southampton. So, yeah, and for that now then, there is one other thing that I do want to show you, which is the squad hub. And have a look and see how we've got on. Nine games, three goals, five assists in the Premier League with a 7.72 match rating. That's great. And I actually can't wait for our first full season as a pro. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, a like would be greatly appreciated. As I said earlier, 
Thank you all so much for your incredible support at the start of FIFA 23. Hopefully it continues. You are all legends. I love you all. And uh, 500 likes again on today's episode. And I will try and give you another episode tomorrow. That's the deal. Until then, stay safe, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Look after each other. And I'll catch you all again soon. Adios.